We're here to walk you through the installation of Z Glides on a Skag Turf Tiger. But we want to make sure to start off with we're on a flat level surface. We've got our park brake set. We've got everything laid out. We've got a jack stand as well as our jack. We've got a set of Z Glides down here. Got a couple three quarter inch wrenches, a hammer and a chisel, my ratchet and socket, along with my deck leveling tool, and we're ready to get started. We're going to use our safety jack stand, get it in place. We're going to go ahead and remove your tire using our three quarter inch wrenches. We are going to reuse this hardware, so we'll hang on to that. And we're going to make sure that our bushings stay intact in our wheel. Next thing we want to do is get our dust cap off the top. We'll obviously be reusing the dust cap. And this is where your inch and a half socket comes into play. As you can see, we've got plenty of grease down in here. We've done a good job of keeping this unit greased, so we should be okay there. We want to make sure that our nut and our washers and everything stays in place. Pulling out the original. So now we're ready to put your new Z-Glide fork right in place. And again, plenty of grease down in here. Done a good job of keeping this unit greased. Make sure our work washers fall back in place. Looks nice, plenty of grease. And we'll get our nut started back on there. So these are cone bearings. We're not going to over tighten them. We're going to seat them down in there. So as I'm coming up on it here, I can begin to feel my bearings are seating. Give it just about a quarter of a turn. Got a nice feel to that. No play. Looks good. Get our cap back on it. As you can see here, there's two holes that we're working with, an upper and a lower. We're going to go back in the upper hole. This is going to give us uh, the height we need Obviously reusing the old hardware. We do have a lock nut here. These are roller bearings inside this wheel housing. No need to over tighten. And there we make contact. Looks good. Free wheel on the tire. Nice free wheel on the upper bearing. We're in good shape. So we'll go around to the other side, repeat all the same steps. We'll be ready to level the deck. The letter unit down. One of the things I like to do is let's pick the height that we're going to set it at. We're going to go in this three inches and we're going to let our deck down three inches and we're ready to get off and make sure that we can get our blades level. We want to use our deck leveling gauge. We're going to make sure that our front blade tip is about a sixteenth to three sixteenths of an inch lower in the front than it is in the rear. We're going to reach under, we're going to find that blade, we're going to bring it around to the front, we're going to use our blade indicator here. Make sure we got good contact. We can get our measurement. We can come to the back. We can do the same thing. We can look at our measurement. If need be, Skag makes it very easy to adjust this deck. We've got one bolt right here and a matching bolt to the rear that we can run in and out, which will pivot the actuator arm here, raising and lowering the deck. Now that you've got your Z glides installed, You've got your deck level. I want to ask you to put about 50 hours on your Z-Glides. Get these things out there, doing some mowing with them. Come back in about 50 hours. Let's make sure that your deck is still level. Your Z-Glides have seated in nicely. Once you've done that, you're good to go. About once a year, make sure that your deck's level. Make sure everything's still in place. If you come across it and like to purchase some for yourself, go to zglidesuspension.com. Thank you.